This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2016. To my immediate right is Chief Scientist and co-founder of Sphero. Welcome to the program, Adam. Yeah, thank you for having me. Now, I, I never thought you know, so much excitement can come from a single sphere. Tell us a little bit about the, the foundation of Sphero. I mean, it's in the title, but nonetheless, tell us how it all got started. Yeah, I mean, it all got started from the idea that we wanted to change the way people saw robots in general. And we tried to think of all sorts of like robots, like cars and mechanoid type guys, and, and really kept coming down to like, they were all so normal. We wanted something really different. And the ball robot was super different. I mean, you've just never seen one before. So, and when, when did this idea come about? Um, so around 2010, we were thinking about this idea before phones were really, you know, super prevalent. You know, everybody had one, but it was iPhone 3 era. So we're like, dude, robots on phones, that's where it's at. So what, what, what were your first products, I mean, when, you th when things started out? So we first started out with the Sphere. Like I said, we were like, should we make a car or this? We made a little, uh, like, PC board, right? Like a, a, a circuit board. And it could be controlled from a smartphone. And so we were like, man, what could we control? Door locks or, like, cars or anything? And it came down to fun. We just want to have fun. So we wanted to make toys, and, and the ball was the craziest, hardest robot we could think. So now, when you have it controlled with a smartphone, I mean, what kind of things can you do? What does it mean to control? Do you just point like left and right, or do you start doing creative things with the actions themselves? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Once you connect it to a smartphone, right, the toy now has internet access. The toy also now has like this relevation of where you are. So like, in the real world, it knows you're back here. So when you pull back on the joystick, it comes back to you, right? Some of these things that you maybe take for granted, but a smarter toy equals more fun. Like, you can just have so much fun, and you can program them too, so. No. Um, okay, so you know it's Star Wars season. Yeah. Tell us about BB-8. I mean, so bb 8s is this adorable peeking little robot, right? It uh, came to life in the Star Wars Episode Seven movie, and we all fell in love with it. And our company was tasked with trying to recreate that for the people at home, to let you bring a piece of the, the droid home with you. And that's what we did with this BB-8 Sphero, uh, you know, smartphone control robot. You know, I, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. You've seen this, of course, you've seen the Star Wars movie, and. I was so saddened with what happened to BB-8 in that film, and I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but all I'm going to say is this, and we, we won't talk about it beyond that. Yeah. But, and, and of course, you know, Mark Hamill, he carried that movie. He carried, the film. carried that film. <laughs> the second person in the credits, actually. Second person in the credits. So let's talk about the Force, yeah. because it's not enough to just have the Force in Star Wars, you want the Force in, in our day-to-day -day life in as well. Life, yeah. So what's that magic on your wrist? So the magic on my wrist is what we're calling, sorry, the Force Band. Uh, it's a Sphero Force Band, and it gives you the control of the BB-8 without a smartphone. So normally you'd be driving it on a smartphone. This gives you the power to like use the Force and control the BB-8, like a Jedi. So what kind of things can you do? Um, so you can wave, and you can drive it around very specifically. You can kind of have it next to your hand, or next to your body, and it'll follow you around. And you can also do cool things like shake your hand and do a death grip and pop its head off. So there's all kinds of fun stuff, and it just gives you a new version of control for your droid. You know what I liked about BB-8 is that it, you got this emotional um, you know, reaction out of it. I mean, even though it was a very simple droid, you know, turn to its head and so on, are you able to do some creative things with the Sphero BB-8? Yeah, um, we were given like the sounds and some video of like how it would act and some of its emotions. We tried to recreate those. What we did though is the coolest thing is we made a software program in our company where the artist can create those emotions, right? So the BB-8 is a really complicated robot for us and it has a programming system in it. And But we've made that abstracted so artists can move the head and turn it a little bit and it'll send that down and be a real program to do that in real life. So we've had the ability to make almost anything. Any action you could see, like the artist can make that. Right, wonderful stuff. So, you know, the software that supports it, is it regularly upgraded? And, and what I mean by that is, are you starting to come up with creative ideas that you maybe you didn't have when you first released products like this? Yeah, um, we, didn't, we weren't privy to see the entire movie, just as everybody else was, and it was super secret. So when we saw the whole movie in its entirety to know what BB was about and the things that he, yeah, he or she got involved with, um, we're able to update the app to give you that experience as a customer. So you'll have new holograms in your messaging, you'll have new motions, you'll have all kinds of new stuff. Wonderful. Now I take it it's available now, yeah? Yeah, it's available now. You know, Apple Store, Brookstone, Amazon, Sphere.com, and it's one for forty nine ninety nine. And it, it works with both Android and Apple's smartphones. Yeah, Android, Apple, and Windows smartphones, and you can actually connect to it any with any computer that has Bluetooth Low Energy. So like Chromebooks and anything like that. So you can do all sorts of stuff with your BB eight. Okay, wonderful. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Really cool tech. Thank you very much.
This is Neil Schneider for MTVS-TV at CES 2016. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching.